over six miles, and then four holes, and a glob of lead. Unbelievable. It's wrapped around a stick. The head of a spike. Oh, it's worse than poop. Well, it may appear to be anticlimactic, but might as well do it. Right, the rate we're going can't be any worse. Right. <laughs> Well, greetings, everybody. I am back where we were, well, in the beginning of the week, a few days ago. Remember where we found that old road that went into nothing, but I found that little itty-bitty cellar hole? Said I'd be bringing somebody back, and... This guy. That's right, so, Dame, you are not gonna believe it when you see it. I believe that I'm not gonna believe it. You and I will get ourselves out there, and then we'll get back to our wonderful viewers. Nice, can't wait to see ya. Let's go. All right. That's it. Can you believe that? There's a lip, I cannot believe it. Looks like a tree fell over, right? Yeah, that, that's classic. Well, I know where my five minute sit down is gonna be. <laughs> so being that this is a second trip recap, the site put up some great finds, but kind of quiet. It's time to clean the ground around the little hole here and spread out a bit. Well, we've been going at it for some time and it is quiet. Yes, I'm on a wide orbit. I saw this berm over here, so I came over. Nothing there, but got a horseshoe right there. And it is uh, bent and pulled. Uh huh. Yeah. First target of the day. And you know, I only spent an hour here the other day, so it's not like I could have cleaned the place out. Right. I think it's just that thin. A head of a spike. So, that and the horseshoe, that is it so far. This hole is so well hidden that I thought it was over there. Ah. And I was looking for my bag. Uh, no, it's literally right there. You didn't realize you were standing next to it? Yeah. Yeah, pretty crazy. We'll give it a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. And then we'll head up. Yeah, up. <laughs> Let's do up. It's only 90 degrees today. Well, it may appear to be anticlimactic, but Dame had to see the site. And realistically, we had to come through here to get to the projected area anyways. And I'm not disappointed in any way. Uh, seeing a site like this, opens up so many possibilities. They are out here. We just have to stumble on them. <laughs> right. Uh, these folks had such a tiny footprint and we're making a living right here. That knowledge makes it all worth it. Yeah, and we're, it, we're under the assumption that this is a very early settler site for this part of New Hampshire. There's no uh, improved road in. There's no brick. We didn't even come across any window glass and very little iron. This was, like Dame said, a probably a log cabin type structure. Yep. Amazing. So we're gonna pack up and I'm gonna take you guys up the hill and the goal is to see what is along the way but get over the other side. And down, horsefly on your arm. Ah, bugs. All right. Well, we're almost reaching the peak. We have a cross wall. Something interesting over there, Dame. Boy, I don't know. So, it's on quite the angle. <laughs> it's not a cellar. It's just a dig out? I don't know what it is. Failed well. We're not too far from the next site. Dead quiet, deep hole, but. Yeah. yeah. So we need to figure out where we're gonna go from here. Yeah. Yeah. Bear right back. Well, it's one of those days we're doing a lot more exploring than anything else. We've landed at a site we've been to before. Dame definitely wanted to come back up here, and we are at 4.10 miles already. 
Nice. Yeah. We still gotta go back. We still gotta go back. <laughs> Yeah, it was iron. Convex on one side, flat on the other. So that's the culture. Not so long ago. Oh yeah, you just, you dug one of those recently. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. A lid. It is a lid. Yeah, Dame. Very excitable. Fifty-three solid. Classic 53 could be. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Really? Really. It's tw wrapped around a stick. <laughs> like the wire is twisted around that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Best sounding thing all day long. It's poop. It's worse than. Poop. Thirty-nine forty, and we're working over by the barn at the moment. Ha! Button. Well, it took three hours. Wow, that rang up a thirty-nine to forty. We got better numbers now. 60. Oh, another signal. Nice. What do you see it already? Oh, casing? Wow. <laughs> Some days. Oh, another bullet. And a glob of lead. Unbelievable. Wow. Well, today's turning out to be one of those balanced days. Paying for the days where you do good. Yep. We've been here for an hour. One button. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah. So we're going to head out to the old road, start heading our way back to the vehicle because we've got a long walk, and we're going to hit one more site that hasn't been visited in, well, almost exactly three years. We've been recapping. Might as well do it. Right. The rate we're going can't be any worse. Right. <laughs> well, we tried. <laughs> that site was the quietest of them all. Yes, it was. We couldn't even lock onto nails. So did you enjoy your hike today? I did enjoy it. It was a great deal of exercise. Over six miles, five hours, one button, one nail, a chunk of iron, and a oh, lid. And four holes. Right. <laughs> like Charlie said, Today was a balanced day. Yeah, I rarely ever scrub many days uh, video-wise because it's all part of our story and I want it to come out on the channel as this is how it really is, whether it's good, bad, and you see the consistency of fines and hit ratio, you know? But even today, when we go to these different sites and we find new places, even though they might be empty, when we visualize those on the map, it gives us a better feel for the spacing in between actual homesteads, uh, which opens up all new possibilities. Right, because we essentially did a massive loop and we got to see a lot of land that we had never done, seen before. Uh -huh. So that's what allows us to keep getting out all the time and hitting on sites. All right, well, I knew an hour and a half ago when I started to think about coffee that it was getting towards the end so I gotta go. I need some protein as well. Alright everybody, see y'all soon. Till next time, enjoy your not Thursday. <laughs>